And what made today feel so comfortable was the relative humidity was low. We didn't have a lot of the stickiness of the humidity in the air mass. Beautiful photo from Tom Poyden from Lake Worth Beach. And this is from Michael out in Okeechobee showing the wildlife there in just a pretty setting. And this was the Starlink launch. Kathleen Buchanan captured this from Port St. Lucie. So thank you very much to our weather spotters. Current temperatures, depending where you're watching us from, it's a really different scenario. Uh, South Palm Beach County, we're looking at temps in the upper 60s for Boca and Boynton. But if you're watching us from the Treasure Coast or inland areas, a little bit cooler, especially tonight across Indian River County, where we do find 53 degrees Vero Beach. And in St. Lucie County, 51 degrees right now in Fort Pierce, where the wind has gotten calm. And when the winds go calm, it, it stops the atmosphere from kind of mixing. And usually temperatures are allowed to cool down, add to it the mostly clear skies, good radiational cooling with today's heat at the surface radiating back into the atmosphere. Wake up temperatures early Sunday morning into the mid 60s for the Palm Beach is comfortable there but across the Treasure Coast uh, lows in the low 50s 57 Port St. Lucie but only 52 Vera Beach and 51 Sebastian 50 degrees for Okeechobee. So as this area of high pressure sits overhead we're going to stay dry we're going to see plenty of sunshine but we will be breezy keep in mind we have clockwise flow around that area of high pressure that's going to give us winds out of the east tomorrow. So it will be kind of rough for the boaters, but everything else beautiful. This shows us we have dry air, not only at the surface, but at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. So we're staying dry really through the work week. A front tries to move in, but it really doesn't make it. So uh, we're starting to really head toward uh, later April as we see these patterns where the cold fronts don't quite make it down into South Florida. We start the morning relatively calm, but then those gusts, uh, do kick in during the afternoon at times up to 22 miles per hour. All right, Vipercast staying dry for the next several days. Feel free to leave those umbrellas at home. You won't need them. In fact, we don't even have a whole lot of cloud cover for the next few days. Uh, we're looking at near average temperatures. Average is 82 Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We get warm and then we really jump up late week into the upper range of the 80s. The humidity also starts to climb up a little bit too. For tonight, clear skies. 65 near the coast, but low 50s inland tomorrow. Brilliant sunshine, 80 degrees for the boaters. A little bumpy, seas running 3 to 5, but occasionally up to 6 feet offshore. And here is your 7-day forecast. Temperatures starting seasonal and then getting above average, unseasonably hot by Friday with a high of 89.